Accounts Receivables A business sells goods or services on account to another company, let's say Company B. Company B owes the business the dollar amount of such sales. So, the business owns the right to get such money, and hence we call it Account Receivable, which is part of assets. We need to account for such activity when it happens. So the following entry is recorded. Assume that the business sold goods for five customers as follows. The total of $100,000 of sales. The business manager will be interested to know the amount owed in total by all customers or account receivable. The answer to this question is the total balance in account receivables. But the manager will also be interested in knowing how much each customer owes. In order to answer this question, we should consider the credit sales to each customer while we record the journal entry as follows. We can add each customer's name or account code to each sales transaction, which will create an individual account to know their respective balances. These individual accounts are part of a record called Account Receivable Subsidiary Ledger. So, if we look at the relationship between the Account Receivable Subsidiary Ledger and the Account Receivable Account in the main or general ledger, which we also call the Account Receivable Control Account, we will find that the sum of the individual customer balances of the Account Receivable Subsidiary Ledger must be equal to the balance of Account Receivable Control Account in the general ledger.